Today we're going over the Entity MT, which is one of the best supercars in GTA Online. The Entity MT is this month's GTA Plus Vehicle of the Week, so it is completely free if you are subscribed to the membership. This is easily one of the best vehicles we have ever gotten for GTA Plus, so you're definitely going to want to go and grab this one. But the Entity MT is now the second variation of the Entity, and it is a much needed upgrade from the first generation. The MT was released alongside the Los Santos Drug Wars update, so it is a fairly new vehicle in GTA Online. Just like all the newer supercars coming into GTA Online, the MT is insanely fast. Just on the base model, you can get all the way up to 130 miles per hour, which according to GTA Base, is in the top 10 of fastest vehicles in the game. But it doesn't end there, you can also add an HSW upgrade to the MT, which makes this vehicle go from 130 miles per hour all the way up to 1. 150 miles per hour which again makes it one of the fastest vehicles in gta online history so the fact that you can get one of the fastest vehicles in gta online for completely free right now is pretty insane you should definitely go capitalize on this you can pick up the mt at the vinewood car club or you can find it on the legendary motorsport website and as you can see the mt is originally priced at 2.3 million dollars so like i was saying before this is easily one of the best vehicles we've ever gotten for gta plus so this is definitely a car you're going to want to capitalize on. Heading into the customizations for the MT, you get 25 different categories, which is pretty standard for newer vehicles in GTA Online. Speaking of customizations, the sponsor of today's video is DXP. If you guys are looking to spruce up your setup or add an appealing look to your workspace, click the link in my description so you can get one of these insane mouse pads. These mouse pads are made with top of the line materials to create an extremely durable product. Plus, there are a ton of different colorways with the super clean design to choose from plus if you guys use the code chard at checkout you can get an additional 10 percent off of your next order once again thank you so much to dxp for sponsoring this video now let's get back to customizing this mt heading into the front bumpers we have the secondary splitter now there's a couple of different options to choose from you have a street splitter a super and a gt and for our rear bumper you only get two different options here we have the secondary diffuser which again just makes it so we can match the livery and the secondary color that we have heading into the canners we just kept this completely stocked we didn't add any i think this just added a little bit too much to the vehicle but for some people this might look actually pretty cool heading into the hood we have the slipstream hood but as you can see 14 different options and all of them actually look pretty decent for the exhaust you get a lot of different options as well we went with the titanium quad exhaust i don't think i have this exhaust on any vehicle in my garages so i decided why not we'll put it on this one and it actually doesn't look too bad heading into to the livery i was really surprised to see this a lot of times we don't really get a lot of livery options for supercars but i ended up going with the red pinstripe this one matched really well with the color scheme that i wanted for this all of my secondary colors are red so this one matched perfectly but looking at the other liveries some of these are actually really really nice you get the dual black this one is going to look perfect for almost any vehicle and then you can also get creative with these two tones the swedish there's a lot of different options you can go through with this one for for the mirrors, I ended up just going with this stock, but you can get primary or carbon mirrors, which isn't too bad. For my paint job, I just have a chameleon off-white pearlescent, a really standard paint job, but I think this car suits it very, very well. And I think this red and white combo looks really nice with the MT, but there's definitely a lot of other paint jobs and paint schemes you could go for with this one. Heading into the roof, you get five different options. You get a stock roof, you can take the top off, you get carbon, a pinstripe, and a carbon pinstripe roof but because of my livery i think that the pinstripe looked really weird right there it just didn't match the other pinstripe so i ended up just going with the stock roof which doesn't look bad whatsoever for whatever reason they added this side panel category but when you go into it you can't do anything like you can't even remove it so i don't know what this is for it might be for the hsw upgrades i'm not entirely sure for our skirts you get a lot of different options once again we have the secondary gt skirt i think this one just matched perfectly with the vehicle for our spoiler 17 different options and some of these spoilers are really insane like what even is this but 17 different options for spoilers i'm always going to be a fan of and heading into the wheels i literally just have the stock wheels these were already painted red so this is what we have and again matches perfectly with the color scheme i didn't even have to change the wheels but 
again, some of these wheels do look pretty nice with the MT. But that's what I have for the customizations for the MT. I love how this vehicle turned out. It's super clean and super nice. If you guys don't have GTA Plus and you're still looking to buy the MT, I would definitely recommend it. Like I said earlier in the video, this is one of the fastest and best supercars you can buy right now. Not to mention the upgrades look insane for the MT. But that's what I have for today, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe down below. But that's all I have. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.